Today I want to talk about cultivating a peaceful home. When I first became a stay-at-home mom and a wife, all I can think to describe it is bitter. I filmed with this new journey and the hardships that it brought that all I knew how to do was to seek counsel in social media. So instead of seeking the only one that can provide true healing, I was fed the lies of our culture. Staying at home is just hard and we should just struggle through it. We should be angry towards our husbands because we do everything around here and they don't know how hard it is. Lies given straight from the enemy. Because if you didn't know, the enemy hates families. Families and marriages are God's perfect design for discipleship and sanctification. So yes, he is after yours. So where do you start? What are you consuming? If we are only feeding ourselves the food that this world can provide, we will always be hungry for more. We'll never be content, always stirred up with anger. We might begin to think about divorce. We might begin to resent our children and motherhood. Hebrews 13 9 says, do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace. It starts with nourishing our minds with the word of God every Every single day. Seeking him in prayer, not just when we're struggling and we want something, but at all times because God wants a relationship with us. Cultivate a home where you can invite Jesus into every part of your day. What are we doing at all other hours of the day? Are we just scrolling social media, letting other people tell us what to think? Are we consuming music and shows and content that promote sin and lust and broken families while our kids consume the same thing? Complaining when we're keeping the home instead of using it as an opportunity to glorify God. Complaining when our husbands come home and talk talking down to them while we demand respect. I only began to see peace in my family and in my home when I filled it with more of the word of God than I did of the ways of the world.